happy Saturday, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Janine is ready to party. David is here. Jenny, hello. Mary Ellen, yes, you do need weights if you have them. Linda is here. Arlene, Elizabeth, Lori, hello, everybody. Masimo is ready to go. Just me today. I don't know if you heard, but we have crazy rains here in Southern California. So we didn't want some soaking wet kids tracking in water all over the gym space. So hey, Paula. Dawn is here. Dixie is here for the party. Yes, I hear Shania Twain too. Let's do it. Carrie and Jeff today. Candace and Gus feeling fresh. I love it. Y'all, we are rocking out the last official day of Fresh. You all crushed it. I am so proud of all of you. Mary Beth is here, Elizabeth is here, Dotsie, Leslie is here. Hey, Laura, hello, hello. All right, we're gonna get it done. It is our party workout. I know, Yvonne, I can't believe it's the end of the month either. It is our fresh party workout. So if you've never done a party workout, we often do them at the end of the month to close out a challenge. And what that means is that we are going to get a mix of everything. So a mix of equipment, use whatever you've got. You notice I have my dumbbells, my kettlebells, and my mini bands, but you use what you've got. Mary is here. Wendy is here. So glad to see you. Caitlin, haven't been to a live in a while, but I'm so happy that you are here today. So we're gonna use a mix of equipment. We're gonna have circuits where we get some strength, some cardio, some core, some mobility, and then of course, choose your own adventure. Maybe we will sneak in some kettlebell swings as well. Honey is here. Natalie in snowy Minnesota. So glad you have your kettlebell and your mini bands today. All right, team, so that is all you need. We're gonna get it done in 30 minutes. I don't have time to do a full Q&A today because my son has a birthday party, he's seven. So I'm gonna have to head on out of here, but I am gonna take the last few minutes to tell you about what is coming up on Monday. I don't know if you saw the promo, but we're heading into Metcon. So get excited about that. Andrea is here, Fatima, yes. Amy is here, Jean, all right, team. So let's go ahead and start moving our bodies to get warm. Hey, Tamika and Terrence, hello, hello. All right, so just start moving, walk or jog, whatever you need. I might jog, because I am cold, y'all. I know I'm gonna be warm in just a minute. Don't feel bad for us. I know everybody else has really cold temperatures and snow like Natalie has in Minnesota, but Southern California is not prepared for the amount of rain and cold temperatures that we have had. So, oh, thank you, everybody. Happy birthday to Kai. Ooh, 15 degrees where Dixie is in Boston. Ooh. Man, D is here. All right, so just start moving. Roll through. We'll get both my timers going here. Let's open up those arms. Yes. Ha. Right through here. Can you get this one too? Let's go up. I, Y, and T. If you want, add a little hinge with it. We got I, oh, yes. Mary Ellen is in Arizona where it is beautiful, I'm sure. Alyssa, thank you. Perfect day to have the party workout. I know, I wish he was here, but it is so rainy and we have to go outside to get to our studio space, which is in our garage. Woo, 90 degrees in Florida, Dawn. We all wish we could be there with you. Livia, hello, hello. Take it up. Let's get one more. Hey, Cindy is here. Good to see you, Cindy. And breathe. Let's take a side to side. You can rotate with those shoulders. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Our first round is a body rate round. Let's go flat back down and round it up. So we're gonna keep the warm up really short because our first round is body weight and it basically is gonna be our warm up. Destiny is here. My oldest is 21. Did I? No way, Destiny. Ah, oh, happy birthday to your oldest. Roll those shoulders. Jessica, he's seven. I remember when you announced your pregnancy. I know. You guys have all told me this. All of you veteran moms and grandmothers have told me that it goes fast, but it does. I told Kurt, walk those feet in. Take it right here, standing cat cow, that it was the longest seven years of my life and also it went by way too fast. So, yep, he is seven. Isn't that crazy? 
All right, team, so take your hands down, pedal those feet. We're gonna jump right into our first round because it is body weight and it is gonna be a mobility. We'll get cardio mobility and strength. We're gonna get it all in, but we're also gonna use it as our warm up to be time efficient today. So our very first move is our cardio move. Guess what we got, team? This cardio move that we love. We're gonna go over the top, across, and reach it down. We got 40 seconds of work. Here we go. So, again, if you're just jumping in, Ash is here. Cran, hello, hello. Wendy in Illinois, gonna do it when she gets the kids down for a nap. You can take it across right through here as well. So if you're just joining, this is our first round of our circuits. It's the body weight one, but we're using it as our warm up as well. So it's gonna be more mobility, all body weight. You'll see, you'll see. It's gonna be a lot of your warm up moves, but in a circuit. You can take it back across. We got 10 seconds. Woo, now we're warm. Three, two, one. Hey, Carrie. Woo, catch your breath. All right, so now we got strength. Here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a squat into a side lunge. Sit low, side lunge. That's what we got for our strength. We're gonna add a little press halfway through to get our upper body working as well. Here we go. So squat, side lunge, right here. Sit low, side lunge. So hip opener, right? Right through here. Take it down and side. If you want, pull, push, pull, push. Get low, you don't have to go fast. Really think opening up the hips, right? Think pull, push, deep into that squat, deep into that side lunge. Let's get one more. Alicia, Alicia is here. Woo! Oh, that all felt like cardio. All right, now we got mobility. How about that world's greatest stretch? You can take it from the top, you can take it from the plank, but you're gonna step back. If you can, you're getting down here. Reach, step it in, same thing, other side. Join me for 40 seconds. Here we go. Step it back, hand down, you wanna open up that hip, reach up, and either step back out of it, or your other option is to take it to the plank. Reach, you can take it here. Then big step up. If you want even more of that hip flexor stretch, drop that knee down in the back, little lean, right? And then here, so either is fine. If you wanna keep it standing, you take it from the standing. If you wanna take it from the plank, take it from the plank. Right up through here. Last one, here we go. Stay down on the mat with me. All right, now we got some core, right? So we go cardio, strength, mobility, core. How about a little down dog to a plank? If you want, if that's not right for you, child's pose to all fours or child's pose to plank, all right? We got 40 seconds. Let's get it done. Here we go. So down dog whoo, to the plank, right? If you want, you can touch those toes or touch those knees, but take it nice and slow. Again, if that's not right for you, you can just go child's pose, stretch to all fours or child's pose to down dog. Maybe that's better for you. You do you. That is what it is about finding your groove, being where you are today in your journey. That's just where you are today. One more. And relax. All right, so we got them all, right? We got our cardio, we got our strength, we got our mobility, we got our core. This last round, it is up to you. What do you need more of? I am gonna go with cardio, because I wanna keep getting warm. But you pick cardio, squat side lunge for your strength. We got your world's greatest stretch for your mobility and you got that down dog to plank or child supposed to plank for core. Let's do it, here we go. 40 seconds. Oh, 
house. Oh, Anna, yay, happy birthday to Sebastian, who also just turned seven. We're on the same schedule. Hey, Carol in Venezuela, thanks for joining the challenge. Stacy caught up on two fresh workouts already today. Oh yeah, you take a break, you're done. <laughs> All right, team, keep it going. Wherever you are is where you need to be. Whoo, ah, feeling warm, finally. We got three, we got two, we got one. Grab a sip of water, whoo, breathe. That was fun, right, for our first circuit to be the warm up. Felt it, I hope you did too. All right, team, so catch your breath. We are heading on to dumbbells, all right? So same idea, shake it out. You can just keep moving if you want. With our dumbbells, we have a cardio, we have a strength, we have a mobility, we have a core. Choose your own adventure. So I'm gonna have my heavies close by because I'm gonna grab them in a minute, but I'm gonna go something medium to light. Your cardio, we're gonna do a shuffle, press. Shuffle, press. If you don't feel like using the weight, totally fine. We're gonna start up and then we'll maybe add a little out. All right, so we get a little extra shoulders with this cardio. Make sure you're not gonna trip on anything. You can do double step two. Let's do it. Shuffle and press. Press, double step works too. Stay low with it. Shuffle, 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 press. Here is your cardio, yes! Beverly is here. Woo, that gets that heart rate up fast. If you want a little variety, take it out. Take it out, little heartbeat. Can you even alternate one up, one out. Remember, you don't have to do the full shuffle. You can take it, double step, last three, two, and one. Catch your breath. Woo, there it is. All right, team, so for our strength, how about let's do it. We're going to get a kickstand deadlift into a row. We got 20 seconds right foot forward, 20 seconds left foot forward. We're gonna get the row the entire time. Tiara, Tiara is here. Woo, gotta go to basketball, but we'll see you soon. All right, let's do that kickstand deadlift. Remember, one foot behind here, row, all the way up, 20 seconds, and we'll switch our feet. Here we go. Down, row, drive up through the heel, right? Sit low. And up, yes you can. All the way up. Elbows in. Yes, switch your legs right here, kickstand. All the way up. It's a hinge. Then pull the weights up to your rib cage. Squeeze. Shoulder blades. Three, two, one, and relax. Set those weights down. We got cardio, we got strength. Let's get a little mobility. Why not? <laughs> so we're gonna take it right here. You're gonna get that deep squat, toes out, hands down, extend it up, get that stretch, and bring it up. Join me right here. Big Y, sit low in that sumo squat, hands down, grab those feet, extend up through those legs, stretch your back, drop again, and reach it up, right? So we get low, hinge at the bottom, extend it up, yes, we're getting a little strength too, but we're getting a lot of mobility. If you can't get down that low, that's okay. Start here, take them here, extend up. You still get that little back and hamstring stretch. You don't have to go all the way to the floor. Let's take it here, Catherine saying hi. Hey, Kat, gonna do it tomorrow. <sighs> On kid duty today, let's get last one. <sighs> Breathe, ha, <sighs> and relax. All right, take it down to your back. All right, we got some core, but of course, we're gonna sneak in a little upper body as well. So join me right here, team. 
You're gonna do that bicycle. If you can, we're gonna get a little chest press. I know, not fair, it's not just core. If you want just core, just take it to a bicycle. If you need to modify, take it to the bridge. Oh, I got my heavies here. <laughs> Go ahead, do what you need to do. You do you, if you're me, you gotta take a long time to get those 15s up. All right, so tilt that pelvis, tuck everything in, zip up that core, feet up in tabletop if that's good for you, or the bridge. You can start with just that lower body. Here we go. And then add a little chest press. Breathe. Take it up and in. Down and out. Yes, team. All the way through. Core is engaged. Everything is tight through the center. Make sure you're breathing. If you're feeling your back too much, take those feet a little higher. You can still get that movement, right? Or, oh man, my weights are freezing cold today, guys. Woo, breathe. Take it up. Here and up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, this is it. Choose your own adventure. You can stay right here if you just want to keep it right there. You got your mobility, which is that sumo squat to hinge. You got your cardio, which is your shuffle, or you got your strength, which is your kickstand and row. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm taking it to strength. You do you, join me. If you're doing strength, we're gonna go 20 and 20. Otherwise, we got 40 seconds. Let's get it done. Zip up that core in three, two, one. Here we go. We're going hinge, row, Drive up right here. Hinge. So that hinge, drive your hips to the back, then push up through the heel to standing. Ha! Yes. You can. All the way up. Let's go one more. Woo! There's my balance. Switch your legs. Here we go. You're with that cardio. Keep that shuffle or that double step. Mobility, that's what you need. Get low, extend it up. Bicycle and press. Keep that core pulled in. Five seconds. Last one, and relax. Yes, team. Dumbbells to the side. You know what? I think it's time for a kettlebell swing. If you got a kettlebell, Bring it over for a swing. If you don't, you can keep one heavy dumbbell through the center or two dumbbells with a skier swing. But if you can, we are gonna take it to a kettlebell swing. Let's have everybody start with a deadlift. Some of you just did that deadlift like me. Remember, it's that hinge pattern. So pull those shoulders back, pack those shoulders, core engaged, soft knees, but it's a hinge right through here. Couple little deadlifts to start. We just did form feedback Friday in the Body Fit Athletic Club, which we do where we we're really breaking down this hinge pattern. So hips go back, soft knees, drive it up, really pull those shoulders back. If you're comfortable, everybody relax for a second, keep it there, or if you're comfortable with the swing, let it drop, power it up. You're not pulling or lifting with those arms, you're powering up through the back of the legs. We're gonna zip up the core, let's get it done. Roll those shoulders back right through here, we got three, two, one, power. Let it drop. Remember, you're just going to chest level or below. You're locking out straight up and down. Core is engaged all the way through. Yes, you can breathe. 10 seconds. Lock out at the top. We got three, we got two, one, swing and relax. Pedal those feet right through here. Grab a quick sip team, we are jumping in with our kettlebell. Ha, all right, whoo. Here we go team. We are starting out with some cardio. I got my kettlebell in the center. We're just gonna do a little skater, here to here, all right? You can have the kettlebell as a touch point, or you don't need it, you can just cross behind. Let's get 40, here we go. 
So step cross behind. Here's your cardio. I want you to think of it as that curtsy lunge, right? Try to get low so we get a little extra legs, cause we can. And here, right? Yes. Breathe. You can just tap behind, low impact. You can bring those arms up or power. Yes. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. 20 seconds to breathe. All right, so we're gonna do a nice goblet squat with that weight. Let's get a bicep curl at the bottom. And if you want, press at the top. All right, catch your breath. You do you. Let's get it done. Kettlebell at the top. Here we go. If you got two dumbbells, you still wanna to try to get that curl at the bottom with or without the press. Sit low, bicep curl, slow it down. Drive it up if you want. Now, I know right after that cardio, it's tempting to wanna to go fast. Our heart rate is up, but we're gonna take it very controlled, right? We'll still get that heart rate up, no matter what. Oh man, I gotta do it later. I couldn't make it in time. Woo! Lori, hi. Thanks for saying hi. We got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, catch your breath. Now we got a little mobility, right? Let's take it to a plank. Why not get a little core? You can be on your knees, you can be on your toes. We're gonna rotate through the spine, right through here or here. So either in that plank or on your knees, but let's get some mobility while we get our core working. Here we go. Reach it up, back to center. Reach it up, back to center. Yes, you can. And here. All the way through if you need that knee. Totally fine, you're still getting that reach. We wanna open up the chest. We wanna open up through the spine. We want the core to have that good mobility. 10 seconds. Breathe, and up, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, down on your back. So if you can, whoo, watch me here. If you want, you can just hold the kettlebell above, and we're just gonna drop one leg. It's a leg lower. If you want a little triceps, you can go here, right? Sneaking it in again. Here to here. Totally up to you. You can just do the leg lower. You can just do the triceps. You can take it all body weight. You do you. Here we go. So start with the leg lower. What I want you to think about, drop it slow and controlled, core is engaged. As you bring the leg up, pull those inner thighs together. Feel the difference in your core when you really think about bringing those heels and those inner thighs together, right? Feel that turn on. There's been research on this. When we activate those inner thighs, what that does for our deep core. Triceps, slow and controlled. If you don't feel comfortable with that with the kettlebell over your head, you can also do a close grip press. You're still gonna activate those tries. We got five, four, three, two, one. Relax, you pick. What do you want, team? Do you want that skater tap for cardio? I'm gonna stay right here so you know what I'm doing. Skater tap for tar cardio, squat, curl, and press for strength. Do you want that plank rotation mobility or do you want triceps and leg lower? I'm gonna stay here. Your own adventure, that's what the party is all about. Let's get it done. Last 40, here we go. So if you're taking it with that skater, try to get low in the curtsy. Get some power, side to side. If you're squatting, again, get low, curl at the bottom, keep it very controlled. Remember, you don't have to rush. Press at the top. Plank mobility, you know what to do. Open it up, stay engaged in the core. And if you're here with me again, don't forget, inner thighs, pull them together. Heels together, squeeze, deep core. Yes, team, woo, right? Uh, five, four, three, two, one. 
on your feet. How about another kettlebell swing? Why not? Why not? Ah. All right, Laura's heart rate is up. I'm glad to hear it. We are moving quick. Woo! Let's take it right through here. We're going to take it to that swing again. If you only got dumbbells, use dumbbells. If you got your kettlebell, use your kettlebell. Otherwise, you can keep it with just that deadlift. But let's wrap that core. Look at that clock. Seven minutes to go. Almost done, team. You pick, you do you, deadlift, swing. Let's get it done, 30 seconds, shoulders back, core engaged, three, two, one, power. Let it drop, let it drop. Yes, team, all the way up, drop it down, and breathe. Zip up that core, you got it. Ah, Dixie grabbed her 25 kettlebell for that move. I'm guessing you're talking about the triceps. Good thing you're so strong, Dixie. Take it up, let it drop. 10 seconds, zip up, lock out, power. Five, four, three, two, and one. Swing and relax. All right, team, we got one more round. It is your mini band round. Woo! All right, team. So go ahead, if you don't have a mini band, don't worry, you can do this entire one with just body weight. If you have a band, our cardio, we're gonna get 40 seconds of a pull down. Pull down for your back, pull in right here. We're pulling the knee in, 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left. Then we get a little strength, then we're gonna get it mobility, core, let's get it done. Core engaged, here we go, pull. You do not have to go fast. If that bothers your balance, take your body weight here, here, right? You decide your speed, but especially if you got that band, I want you to pull that elbow in, right? Shh. Breathe. Ha, ha. Three, two, switch. Right here. Other side, again, pull it in. You don't have to go super fast, even though it's cardio. Squeeze. This arm straight up. This one's pulling in, side knee, so we get obliques, we get back and shoulders. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo! All right, team, put that band above your knees, right through here. If you have a second band, we're going here. All right, so we're gonna do tricep press and squat. Tricep press and squat. Let's get it done. If you don't have the band, just do that side squat. You do you. You could also go tricep kickback with dumbbells. Let's do it. Here we go. So push and out. I know it takes a little longer to get into the bands. It's not just like picking up a kettlebell, right? So keep those elbows up. Breathe. Bring them in. Let it drop. Ha. Yes, Woo! feeling those arms. So it's a tricep extension, but your shoulders and back are working as well. Press it out, team. I know, 10 seconds. Ha. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep that band where it is. Join me on the mat. All right, team. So you got it, all right, I know, this is not gonna feel like mobility, but band here, pull over, this is mobility. Press out, lift in the bridge. Bridge and pull over, our classic mobility moves. We're just adding a band for a little burn. Let's do it, take it out, squeeze. Take it over, up and squeeze. So we got glutes, hamstrings. If you don't have that band, that is okay. You're still gonna get that mobility. You're still gonna get those glutes and hamstrings. Aim to get those hips high. That's where that hip flexor mobility comes in. Aim to get those arms over your head. It's harder than it looks, right? To get that stretch up and out. Use the band to also really connect with that core. Right, there's my shoulder mobility. It's harder with the band. Five, four, three, two, one. Band at your calves. Turn it over into the plank. Don't forget about the top band on those elbows. 
You know it, you love it. Let's get a little plank. Jack, why not? Here's your core. We're going out and in, or you can tap it out. If you're on your knees to modify, just take it there. Let's do it. 40 seconds, out and in. Breathe. If you are <laughs> feeling spicy, you can come up, take it down, plank press, out, take it up, out. But you don't have to. You can just keep that plank jack or tap it back. Let's get it done. We are so close. Team, whoo, breathe. With or without that plank press. Why not? We have five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Last one, team. Choose your own adventure. 40 seconds. What do you got? I'm gonna do that side squat, those triceps. You pick, let's get it done. Whew. Ah. Remember you got side knee for cardio. You got your bridge and pullover for mobility. You got that plank jack with or without the plank press for core. Let's do it. 40 seconds, here we go. Breathe. Ha. Step it out. Yes, you can. I know, I'm watching that clock too. Don't worry. Breathe, sit low, drop into the hips. <sighs> 10 seconds, right through here. Three, two, one, and relax. You know what team, you know what? I think we got time for a bonus move. And you know what? How about we just make it a 30 second kettlebell swing? Why not? I got a birthday party to get to. You got things to do. Let's get it done. I'm gonna stick with this heavy kettlebell. You pick deadlift, swing, kettlebell, dumbbell. You do you. Let's finish it out strong. Don't worry, I got my own clock. Don't worry about that clock. Let's do it. 30 seconds is all we need. Letting you off easy today. Half of a bonus move, but our favorite bonus move, right? Zip up that core. Shoulders back, give yourself a second, catch your breath. Let's have perfect form and finish it out strong. Here we go, hinge it here, hike it back, use your legs, three, two, one, power. Let it drop, up and drop. Locking out at the top, remember keep those shoulders packed, pull it back, push your feet into the floor, zip up that core, lock out your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, your back, your core, squeeze those armpits. I know that's a weird cue, but really think. Armpits are tight, not lifting with your arms. Zip it up. You got five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Woo, hands on top right through here. If you want a little pedal. Somebody asked me yesterday why we always do this. Just a stretch, right? Just because we're already here. Feels good. Why not? Whoo! Hang out in that stretch for as long as you want. Yes, team! I told you you could, and you did. Let's get a quick stretch. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Just some little taps to get the heart rate down. Roll those shoulders. Yes, party! Whoo! I'm not cold anymore, guys. Sure I will be when I go back out in the rain, but let's shake it out right here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Party workouts are always a good time. I always feel like they go by really fast, especially when we mix up that equipment. We're just going quick, getting it done. Let's do some rolls of our shoulders here. Make sure, of course, that you get some more stretching on your own. We keep it short here. Let's take those knees out. Bring in here, roll your back right through here. Yes, team. So in case you didn't see, check out the promo. It's here on YouTube Shorts and on my Instagram. We're doing Metcon starting on Monday. Metcon is the name of our next challenge. If you're familiar with metabolic conditioning, metabolic resistance training, it's basically what we do in most of our workouts here, right? Let's get little hamstrings right here. 
hips back, hinge. If you wanna get that little arm mobility, you can. So essentially, we're just getting our strength and our cardio together, right? We're getting our heart rate up. We're <clears throat> getting that metabolic burn and also that muscle burn, right? So we're taking that to a challenge. What is fun about next month, it is five weeks long. We start on Monday, February 27th. Let's switch sides. And we will go all the way through the end of March. So we got five weeks of Metcon, which will make it really fun. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Jenny, for being here. Roll those shoulders. So we're gonna be getting done for five weeks. The days are somewhat themed. Remember, we've done this before. But since so many of you love Tabata, every Wednesday is Tabata. A different Tabata workout, a different Tabata style. So get excited, we'll have Wednesday Tabatas. Monday will be a different version of Metcon. Again, everything is a version of Metcon. But we will have some Metcon burns. We'll have some AMRAPs. You have some fun stuff, just a full body coming up next week. So you will have a good time with those Monday workouts, which we always come in strong. Then we'll have our Tuesday cardio. We're gonna mix it up. We're starting with some zone cardio, getting in the different zones. <sighs> then we will have Wednesday Tabatas. Thursday, of course, is active recovery. And guess what, team? No boxing this month for your active recovery. <laughs> it's all going to be actual recovery. Yoga, Pilates, mobility. I think you're gonna like it. And then Fridays are all supersets. So get excited. I know we love supersets. We'll have some body weight. We'll have some uh, lower and upper specific. We'll have some core full body, but all supersets, all good times. And then our live workouts are all gonna be a different version of Metcon. So get excited. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you everybody for showing up today. Gus and Candace. <laughs> Gus and Candace are no longer fresh. That's all right, time for a shower, everybody. Jean, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Metcon sounds int intimidating. Listen, don't be intimidated, guys. Here's the thing that I want to remind you is that just like with all my workouts, and Jean, I know you, I know you can do it. Um, the name, it's kind of like when you hear a boot camp workout, right? It sounds like everything's gonna be all burpees and squat jumps, and certainly that's what we put in that promo, but you know me, I'm always gonna give you options. I'm always gonna show you that there are other ways to get your heart rate up, that you can get Metcon without high impact. You can get, the whole idea is that you're using strength, that it doesn't have to be all hit, all high intensity cardio. We can get it in a lot of different ways. And I'm always, always, always gonna give you options because Metcon for you is gonna look different for somebody else, right? It's all about you do you, being where you are today, getting our hearts pumping, getting our muscles stronger, ending the days better than when we started, right? Thank you so much, Carrie and Jeff. Arlene, thank you, Massimo. Laura, we're gonna get it done, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure you are subscribed here on the YouTube channel. Make sure you're on that email list. Remember, that is where you're gonna get that calendar, that weekly calendar and uh, monthly calendar, and you'll get your links. And if you wanna join us in at the Body Fit Athletic Club, check out the description below. We have a special going on. It's also coming in your email tomorrow. Would love to see you there. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. Thank you so much for starting your day with me. Have a great week, everybody. Oh, sorry, one more time. And out, you did it. Can't forget that. That was your full body fresh party workout. Great job, everybody.